this fire started 2 a.m. this morning and it started according to eyewitnesses fire was seen in this particular shop the one in your shorts and then it exploded and spread to other shops so you can see other shops destroyed The devastation is huge. Loss of products destroyed by the fire. And the fire service personnel have been here till uh, uh, have they been here since 2 a.m. and they are still here trying to bring the remnants of the fire under control. And you can see them in there. And you can see stocks of stocks of products destroyed. And early in the morning, we were told there was this gentleman who was crying like a baby and he was being restrained from entering the fire. And we do understand that five of these shops belongs to him. He is popularly known as Continental. And he owns five of these shops. So you can imagine if you see the stacks of a product in your shots there all destroyed by the fire these are firemen who have been up all night trying to control the blaze lots of products destroyed And many of these shops served as, as warehouses where they keep lots of products for uh, to be sold on wholesale to retailers. So there were quite a number of products in here, a sizable number, and we are talking about millions of Ghana cities destroyed. So this is the place we call, uh, this building actually is the PZ building. It's been built centuries ago. It's been standing for a very long time, even before I was conceived. And I'm about 42 years now. And this place is a Doom PZ. So that's the street leading to the central business district of Adum. And you can see the devastation. And we understand according to eyewitnesses, the fire was in there for a very long time. And according to the fire service personnel, the fire could have been burning in the shop unnoticed for three days.
And so, as residents put it, it exploded all of a sudden around 2 a.m. Boom, it went and then spread to other shops. The initial um, comments made by the fire service indicate that there was no ventilation, ventilation in the shop, so you could see how things are arranged in the shop itself. Stacks of products crammed up together like this. So there is no way ventilation could come up in there. There was no air going through. So five service personnel believe the fire could have been smothering for days without being noticed. And then all of a sudden it erupted and went into this higher stage. And as you can see, uh, lots of mosquito coils bent. Lots of products, energy drinks, thousands of them all destroyed. Let's get to see what happened in the other shops. And these are products reduced to ashes. Different types of products. This is bags, these are bags of rice. And as you can see, bags of rice reduced to ashes. All that is rice bent bags of them bags of rice all bent And you can see rice that has been bent and turned into something like a puree, like tomato puree, flowing from this particular shop. And this shop was this shop was full of bags of uncooked rice, all bent to the ground. And if you see the fire still smoldering in there. So this part of town, I must say again, this is PZ Edum, and around 2 a.m. fire gutted the PZ building itself. This building has been sitting in Kumasi for centuries. Very strong building indeed if you look at the walls, but the explosion caused the top part of the building to collapse. And indeed, combustible materials within the shops cooking oil, lots of gallons of cooking oil, energy drinks, stocks of them. And so it broke the wall. And this is a very strong wall indeed. So the explosion was so great. It exploded and broke the wall onto the ground on the street here. So you can see the debris. And this is the streets leading to 
the central business district, Edum. And if I take you to this end of the street as well, that's the other end leading towards Kejitia Pampaso. In a shot. So if you are familiar with Kumasi, you know this particular street. And this is the PZ building which caught fire today. Lots of onlookers. What's the shop can one? There were five fire tenders which quenched this fire. And you could see the only part of the building that has not been affected. And traders are trying to salvage what they can from their very shops. So all these bags of rice were taken from this particular shop. And so it tells you the bags of rice, the amount of, uh, and the list of products that were in one shop. This is coming from just one shop. And so the other shops had twice or thrice this amount of rice, all bent to the ground. So this shop owner has hired people to carry the bags of rice that were not affected to safety. Let's enter the shop, try to find out what has been destroyed so far. Shop Modia. Shop Modia. I had I am a Benson and more. 
So you can see lots of products destroyed. You can see the fire still smoldering and the destruction is there to see cans of uh, food products. Why are you?
I'm trying to go deep for you to see what the devastation looks like and these men have been working all night all night trying to bring the fire under control the gallant men of the fire service and they are still trying to make sure that no stone is left on tent and they have been able to unravel the log safe and that is what they are trying to dig out so the person who owns the shop at least can salvage some documents so they are trying to dig out the safe which contains his money and perhaps he can take solace in salvaging what he can get from the safe itself. Lots and lots of smoke in here. So the men you see in your shots, these are fire service personnel. Um, this shop got bent as part of the a number of shops. We are talking about over 10 shops counted so far. And they've been able to locate the, the safe of this shop. So they are trying to open the safe to retrieve the owner's money. So they are trying to open the safe to see if the owner can retrieve some of his cash. But the keys, I guess, cannot open the safe at the moment, but he's trying. This is a metal safe. Go. But it looks like the heat has jammed the locks. These items are combustible, highly inflammable, so you can still hear the explosion.
if you're watching us love 99.5 fm on facebook at the moment this is fire that guarded the pz building at Adun in kumasi ghana west africa and it destroyed thousands of food products drinks beverages as you can see in the shots now at the moment what is happening here is that the fire service personnel are trying to retrieve a metal safe in which the owner of this shop kept his money and they want to see if they can retrieve some of it for him and there's so much smoke in here you can hardly uh, see the clearer picture but that is what is happening at the moment my name is Erastus Asaridonko and you're watching Love 99.5 FM Facebook page live coverage of the fire which guarded the PZ building at Dum Kumasi early this morning. So I entered that particular shop for you to see the devastation. Now I'm out of that shop. And there are several of these shops that have been gutted, completely destroyed by the fire here at PZ Edum. I'm going to take you around for you to see a number of them. The first one you saw were canned uh, uh, food products, beverages. And this particular shop was full of bags of rice, thousands of bags of rice. And they've all been turned into black ash, as you can see. And let me take a sneak peek. So you can see the bags of rice destroyed by the fire still melting into wax and streaming down right here at the doorstep turned into some form of puree. This is rice bent and flowing freely as a liquid and this is somebody's savings somebody's capital gone down the drain flowing on the ground turned into black ash if you're watching us live on facebook this is love 99.5 fm and this is the live coverage of the fire which guarded the pz building at the doom in the early hours of today we understand it started around 2 a.m and it took it took the fire service more than two hours to bring the inferno under control yeah. Ah, and call live in Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Sorry about that. But you can see bags of rice reduced to ash. And the fire is still smoldering in there. You can see it.
So out here on the streets of Adum, and there's the main street, the Pizat area, leading to the central business district of Adum. Quite a number of people who have been gathering here since morning. They are all shocked to the bone how this happened. And this is a very normally this is the this is a very busy street, very very busy indeed. And these are merchants who deal in general goods, uh, food products from rice to tomato paste uh, to energy drinks and uh, they sell it out on wholesale to retailers and so quite a number of people come to this street and this particular building to uh, shop so they can go and sell and this is the season where uh, they take more stock more than usual to sell and so they were waiting for the new year uh, period to be able to sell all this rice but now it looks like the story is quite uh, different it cannot be sold as intended And this is the MD of PZ in your shots at the moment, and uh, he has lost quite a number of uh, products. But we are going to go offline now, we'll be right back. Stay tuned.